All right, so you've probably fiddled with the view or the basic view a little bit. Now you're ready to do a little bit of changing the cube. Here's three very basic things that you'll always be doing with your objects. Number one, you want to be able to move the object around. To move an object around, you have to right click it with the mouse. Okay, so we have our cube selected right now. It's pretty obvious when it's selected, right? You get these arrows, you get the outline. Now to move it, you hit the G key. That's right, G is for grab. And so once you hit the G key, you'll see now when I move the mouse, the Q moves. Now, it's very hard to move like this because it's this 3D view, right? And when you're moving it with this 3D view, it can be sort of hard to know exactly where you're putting it in the world. So they have something that makes this really easy. After you've hit the G key, you can now follow up by pressing the X, Y, or Z key. Just like down here, it says X, Y, and Z, which will quickly memorize the colors for them. And once I hit the X key now, you'll see that that X axis highlights. And now when my mouse moves, it restricts it. Hey, where to go? This is a good lesson here. If this ever happens to you, you can always do this. File, load factory settings. Click it again, and it starts you back. So let me do that again. Grab, I'm moving, whoops, in the X direction, and it's moving. If you want to move it in the Y direction, press Y, and it's going to restrict the movement to the Y, or you hit Z, and it restricts it to the Z. So that's one very useful technique you can use when moving your objects, and you just left click when you're finished. So I could go G, Y. Move it in the Y, left click, G, Z, move it up, left click, G, X, move it in the X, left click. If you want to start fresh again, file, load factory settings, and you're sort of back to the beginning there. So that's not too bad. That's how grabbing works. Now here's the nice thing. Once you know how the grab works, following up with X, Y, or Z, what you can do is you can also rotate with the R key and you can scale with the S key. So here's a quick example. I'll do scale first. I right click to select my cube. I hit S and once I hit S, if you just want the whole object to get bigger, you can just start moving the mouse. Okay, left click when you're done. Let's say you want to scale again but just make it grow following the Y axis, the green line, I can hit S followed by Y and now move the mouse left and right and it does that S followed by Z and you can see that you have separate control over the three different axes okay remember how to move your world you can check out your cool uh, beam or piece of metal you made here and then the last one I was going to show you there was the R key for rotate R is for rotate uh, you can free rotate like that but I would recommend choosing one of the axes. So after I've hit the R key, now maybe I'm gonna take and hit the X. It uses the X axis as your pivot, and then you can rotate your object around. I don't know why, students usually have a lot of fun just spinning squares and cones on the screen. And when you're finished, left click. I wanna rotate again, Y, right? You can start to rotate in the Y. So obviously if you do this carefully, what you can end up doing is you can basically move, size, and rotate your objects to get them where you want and the size you want and the angle that you want. Now at this point, you'll probably realize if you're fiddling, I've left my object in a very weird position. And let's say now you want it back to normal and you're going, ooh, I'm going to try to rotate the Y here. Uh, and then I, oh, I don't know, that's not working. Rotate the X. Eh, it's sort of working. Rotate Z. Yeah, sort of. You may find it hard to ever get it back exactly how you had it before if you just want it flat on the ground. And so, of course, they have a nice, simple feature for you to do that. And the feature is the Alt key. Remember we said that there's a lot of keyboard commands here, right? Well, the Alt key, you can hit Alt G, resets the object, 
back to where it originally was. So it sort of cancels out all your grabbing. You can hit Alt R, which cancels out all your rotating effects you've done. Or you can hit Alt S, which scales it back to normal. So I'll just do the rotation one here, Alt R. Okay, and it put that back. Let's say I want the Alt G. Okay, it was still in the center. And Alt S. Okay, and it canceled all the scaling. And so that's a nice feature to use when you go to do uh, fix your little problems, right? If you do a bad rotation. Now, while we're talking about scaling and rotation, there's one or two little options I'll just throw in here at this time, just because you will be scaling and rotating. But check this out. If I decide to rotate, I hit R, and then I hit Y, because I want to rotate on the Y. What you can actually do while you're rotating is there's a little window here. You saw that window pop up when I clicked here. I can actually say, you know, rotate it specifically 30 degrees. Or if you know it's supposed to be 45 degrees, 45. It's not going to be a big deal at this point in the course, but, you know, it's nice to know that if you want a couple objects all rotated exactly the same amount, this is one way to do it. Just know the angle you want to rotate it. The other nice thing to show you uh, when you're working with grab, rotate, and scale is they have this little thing here, the magnet. Snap, drain, transform. So if I actually click the magnet on, and now I say G for grab, G, Y. When I move, it's moving square by square. So you see the grid. It moves square by square along the grid. This is also pretty nice. Same thing happens if you end up rotating. Rotate Y, and I rotate. You'll see it's rotating in little chunks. This makes it also easier to make objects you're rotating line up if you don't want to type the angle in that box we showed you earlier. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a few good things to practice. Uh, it's nice. Go practice it with your cube. In the next video, what we're going to show you is we're going to show you how to add objects into the world, uh, move them around, and give you a little challenge. You're getting close to making a simple model. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video.